All right, welcome everybody to our third episode of the Gaijin Podcast. My name is Kiko and... Gaijin Smash. What did I say? <laughs> so what Alex has been saying the past, like, Gaijin Podcast. Ah, damn it. Okay, the Gaijin Smash Podcast, my bad. It's kind of it's gonna hard to remember all that at once. <laughs> well, anyway, in this podcast, we're going to do the usual. We're going to start off... Um, by bringing some new Japanese words to you guys, followed by some Japanese news or dramas or anime or music, whatever we feel like talking about Japan. And then we're going to finish off talking about whatever we want. So my name is Kiko, and you guys can go ahead and introduce yourselves. I'm Jerry. And I'm Alex. There you go. And it's pretty early for me and Jerry right now, so Jerry's a little bit tired. I'm a little bit tired. We're, we're a little bit tired, and Alex is over here just happy. <laughs> well, sort of. Because what time is it over there, Alex? Um, It's almost 11 p.m. Yeah, see, it's late, and we're here. It's like early morning for us, so we're, we're definitely in different time zones. <laughs> yep. Well, anyway, to start off the, the first segment, part one, we're going to bring some new Japanese words for you guys. And I guess I'll start off this one since who started the last one? Was it Jerry? I believe so. All right. Uh, All right, so I'll start this one off. And the word I'm going to bring is kanpai, which means cheers in English or salute in Spanish. And kanpai, yeah, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, you and your friends, if you have any friends, are like about to drink some beer and you all raise your hands maybe like uh hit uh hit your glasses your cans whatever and you yell count uh, damn and you pretty much uh yell kanpai you know so kanpai it means cheers and in japan when you're about to drink with your friends um do not drink your beer yet until everybody has their beer and after everybody says kampai, then you can go ahead and drink your beer. Because if you drink it before people say kampai, then it comes off as rude. And in that sweet, and if that happens, what do you call that, Jerry? You gaijin smash the situation. Yeah. So that would be an example of gaijin smash. Drinking before everybody else gets the drink. And before everybody in says... In Japan. Yeah, in, in, in Japan. And before everybody says kanpai. So that's my word, kanpai. The way you spell it is K A N P A I. There you go. Boom. All right. Alex, you're up. All right. Uh, would you mind if I'll bring up something uh, more educational? Do you could bring. Than when I usually do. Do you could bring anything your heart desires, man? All right. Uh, let me re emphasize that uh, what I said. When I usually do. <laughs> All right. All right. So this time I've been thinking, surprisingly, and I decided to bring up a, a multi-tool word, which is chotto. Do you remember that? Chotto? Yep. Ah, uh, dude, that, that, that is actually a really useful word, yeah. Yeah, why is it a multi-tool? So basically, as um, any multi-tool, this one does have a literal meaning, literal translation, and uh, multiple usages in like for many situations. So first of all, chotto literally translates as a little. A little bit. A little bit, yeah. As mm -hmm. a... Um, I guess a descriptional word or as a adjective. Yeah, but it does not mean when you say little, it does not mean like height. So if somebody is like a little person, a tiny person, you wouldn't mm -hmm. use you would not use choto for to describe a person's height, right? There you go. Yep, absolutely. It's more like um to measure things in time. If you're gonna use it as a scale-wise uh, meaning, in a scale-wise meaning or something like that, but not but, uh, height. Yep, okay. but it it's not about uh, yeah that you, you, you cannot like uh, apply that to a usual. <laughs> Usually, you cannot apply it to a person, I guess. Mm -hmm. 
like if that that makes any sense but i guess an example would be better like do you have a time uh chotto chotto aru well which basically means uh, i have a little i have some mm -hmm. or here's another situation um when you don't really have time and that's where the another meaning pops out hey do you have time just uh, say it in the right intonation but the same word you you can answer as chotto like yeah. an, an indecisive way i guess indecisive intonation but that also gonna well it's gonna it's gonna be an answer for, like for a japanese to a japanese yeah which means like it's a little um type of thing yeah so i want to kind of um continue talking about that so how alex said you know do you have time you say choto aru aru means like to have so choto aru means i do have a little bit of time but when you just simply say choto like you know kind of like um like you don't have time pretty much the other meaning that alex is talking about is kind of the way we learned it is pretty much saying like uh it's a little inconvenient right now. I don't really have that much time right now. Like, I have something else going on. Like, oh, it's not really a good time. You know, like, all that into one word, pretty much. Yep. And, and so so if someone comes up to you and says, like, hey, do you have time to, like, go drink or something? And they're like, Choto. Like, literally, it translates into little, you know? That's all, that's all it is. But, as, like I said, it pretty much... In Japanese, what it does mean is like, no, it's a little bit inconvenient right now. Like, I don't really have time, you know? So, <laughs> I mean, very, very useful word. And the word in Jap the word in Japanese for no is ie, but nobody really says no in Japanese because it's too rude. <laughs> so, so if someone invites you to do something, um, yeah. instead, of say, instead of saying no, just say choto, you know, like, no, no, it's not a good time. Yeah, <laughs> for the guys yeah, out there. Basically, thinking about it, like um, the the point is the whole culture is uh, kind of like in, in general based on that uh, straightforward negative answers. Like in general, uh, not very polite. So they kind of have a curve to say something negative. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that one isn't rude at all. Yeah. So pretty much. Japanese people are not going to tell you no straight up. They're going to say it in the nicest way possible. Like, like turn yeah. you down in the nicest way possible. Like, and Choto is the, the go-to card. <laughs> like, no, yeah. right now it's not really good. Well, anyway, so for all the guys out there, if you guys ever go to Japan and you guys are doing your thing and you talk to a Japanese girl and you invite her to hang out, from experience, mm -hmm. all three of us, we have heard the word Choto. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, Jerry. Uh, I don't know about you guys, man. Like, you guys are super... Yeah, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it could be... It wasn't even... Um, I mean, it, the situation, literally, I'm not uh, trying to joke around with this right now, but literally, it could be a situation when you ask out a girl, not for, like, literally, for, let's go for a date, but uh, we should hang out sometimes, like you and me. Or something like that. Yeah. Even without uh, any other details, if she goes choto, oh, all right, you should stop. Yeah, yeah. If they, if they use choto, it pretty much means no. Like, it, the, yeah, it pretty much means no. Even though it's translating into little, aka it's a little bit inconvenient. <laughs> I, I once mm -hmm. asked, I once asked Jerry, like, I think I told Jerry, I'm, you know what? So Jerry, you're at the club, right? You're turning up. You see a cute girl. You go up to her and you're like, hey, girl, you know was good and then the girl looks at you in the eyes and she grabs you in the crotch and says let's go back to my place what are you gonna say to her the tables have turned yeah i'm no longer the predator anyway well i don't think any any guy would say no in that situation they'll be like oh yeah let's go girl <laughs> anyway so Jerry, let's move on to your word. What's your word of the day? Really? Uragiri <laughs> mono. I mean. Why? <laughs> I mean, that gives me some. Is there something wrong with that? It gives me some flashbacks. Do you, do you disapprove, Alex? Not really. Do you when I think about it now. 
Where what is Uragiri Mono? Yeah, I kind of want to know why it's giving you fat flashbacks. Uh, slightly, but uh, we didn't no. call it a war at that time. Okay, Jerry, what does it translate into? You, you, you know, if we mention the word in the podcast, you should you should know them, Kiko. No, dude, this is a learning experience for all of us. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Well, except maybe, except maybe Alex, because he knows way more than us. But go ahead. Yeah. It just means uh betrayer like i don't know if if you say somebody watch my cookie and you come back and they eat it well it just betrayed you so it's a it's a person who betrays yeah yep well i would add up just uh another meme a traitor a traitor a traitor yeah that's basically all right and can you say it slowly Uragiri mono. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Uragiri is a training, and mono in this, I guess, complicated word is a person. Okay, so uragiri is to betray. Uragiri mm-hmm. mono is the betraying person, aka the traitor. Yep. Yep. There you go. Yeah, we uh, Alex mentioned that in the first podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. No, he, he slightly mentioned it because when you're like, oh, what does u- Uwaki mean? And he's like, oh, yeah, that's uh, to cheat. And Uwaki yep. Mono is a cheater. And then he's like, and Uragiri Mono is a, is a traitor. And we're like, okay, Alex, you got to slow down there, yeah. buckle. Yeah, I guess that's so. <laughs> uh, Hey, we reviewed it, and that's... Yeah, that's good. Mm. All right, so let's move on to the next segment. Guys, do you guys, well, either one of you, do you have any new Japanese anime drama, news, music, or anything Japan-related that you want to share to everybody? I don't. What do you mean you don't? Wanna share, but I guess you're going to make it. <laughs> you can't say you don't. You're going to make me to do that? <laughs> That's not a viable answer. <laughs> well, actually, since I started, I guess I can keep it up. Actually, I watched one just for a difference, and I believe it called. Um, it's not a new one, by the way. It was like a, a called Gangsta. Like literally, the anime's name is G A N G S T A. Dang. Gangsta. What, what is Gangsta I, about? Well, it's not all happy-ish anime. Uh, have you ever watched or have heard about Black Lagoon anime? No, sir. <laughs> okay. So, uh, okay. Uh-uh. I guess it's not too popular because uh, uh, both uh, Black Lagoon and this one I watched just uh, a couple days ago, uh, Gangsta, uh, both are kind of themed as a brutal reality criminal type of thing. So... There's a lot of killing, there's a lot of blood, tar- torture, mafia, turf wars, uh, third third side parties. And usually those uh, third side parties are the main characters, just like in Black Lagoon, just like in Gangsta. There's just a small, I would say, association, usually consisting of two, three, or tops four people. And this one is two. So they, they've been just operating the neutral side. They're just doing jobs from delivery to killing. And that's basically, mm-hmm. uh, in, short, in short, that's basically about them. Yeah, but they don't like, you know how sometimes like anime, they have like superpowers or whatever. Like this one's just pretty... Um, uh, That's where I was disappointed, disappointed in gangsters. Because uh, uh, there is a sort of a, almost a race, but not like a, in a... Mm-hmm ethnical way but more like of a, a biological way like it like people had some uh d- different uh, blood type well i guess a tissue difference compared yeah. to normal people so they had to uh drink or eat uh, the uh, specific medicine and because that's the, that was the only medicine which kind of kept them going oh, i see uh, they, they never been uh, living uh, much longer after uh, 30s but as a like as a, as a different side of the same coin they do have like extra i wouldn't say powers but extra toughness compared to normal people 
and uh, most of those are uh, uh, kind of like a war trained like mm -hmm. military trained because uh, the whole situation in the country in the cities like um, it's always war so the there's most of those are mercenaries or at least mercenary experienced I although there's some kids so although some kids but those are not exceptions either most of the kids from that race are also uh, pretty pretty fucking tough mercenaries and that's basically uh, the whole anime I watched Have so it's that oh yeah how yeah. many episodes is it or only 12 12 okay so it's a short one yeah it is a short one but I have to warn you because if you would like to start like at first I was hyped about it and uh, I I loved the first like uh, five or even six episodes but then the whole thing about like this biological thing, the, this biological thing they have in the anime, it uh, start to show up a little bit too much. Like, uh, come on, that's 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 inhuman. Like, not inhuman. That's sort of a meta-human type of shit. I'm not here for this one. I'm here for the blood. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. So it's, well, it's, it's, so it started off pretty legit, and then it just got too too uh, what's it called? Too out there. Too crazy. Yeah, a little bit too crazy for like non-fiction. Well, yeah, yeah, non-fantasy anime. Uh, I think that's a little bit too much for exaggeration. People jumping through several fucking stores in one leap, and that's not even the full power. Uh, come on. Alright, uh, so yeah, stuff like that. so Alex said he would recommend it, but only like the first six episodes. After that, do not watch anymore. Yeah, and I have to warn and I have to warn you about another thing. This is 12 uh, episodes only, but that's season one. Mm -hmm. Season two does not exist, and it's not going to be there anytime soon. All right. Or at all. All right. Yep. So if anybody's, hey, interested, if anybody's interested in that, go check it out. It's Gangster. Gangsta. Gangsta. Gangsta, baby. All right. Hey, Jerry, let's go on with you, man. What do you got for us today? Uh, can't wait. Um, Naruto. No. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, look at you, bunch of weirdos. We all laughed at the word Naruto. Everybody fucking knows that. Yeah, we have respect for Naruto. Naruto taught me a lot about life. You're a grown ass man. <laughs> For yourself, I fuck. I fucking bet. I fucking bet you see a lot more of shit every single day than the fucking Naruto. <laughs> this is our reality. Yeah. All right. So Jerry, what do you what do you, what do you got? What do you got? Uh. Well, I recently started watching um. Yakusoku no Neverland. The Neverland Promise. The Promise Neverland. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Um, Thank you. <laughs> and can you give us a quick plot summary about that? Uh, so a bunch of kids are being raised in an orphanage, and you know they're all happy and shit. And this is this is like a, the reveal of the first episode, so I don't think it's a spoiler, but mm -hmm. it's basically the whole thing. But you know they're being raised all happy and shit, but you know when they turn like twelve or a certain age. For some of them, they get adopted, and the kid disappears. Well, eventually they find out that, hey, they're not really being adopted. They they are technically a farm for these, like, alien things that basically eat them once they become ripe or reach Ooh. a certain age. Ooh. Because Alex is like, ooh, ooh. He's like now I'm interested. You got me curious. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, oh yeah, it's about these orphans who get eaten by these fucking monsters. Alex is like, oh shit, like, let me check that out. <laughs> Hell yeah, we're talking about rampage and slaughter and inhumane uh, torture with visuals. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> so is it like yeah. a, like Attack on Titan kind of gruesome, or is it kind of like a little bit more laid back? Um, to be honest, I watched only the first season, and uh, I've heard some like really hot reviews. So I'm kind of, ge I guess I'm getting on board to watch the rest of the show. Yeah, no, Attack on Titan is crazy, man. I like, like you know the but intro. Yeah, it's just uh, the only thing which kind of got me conf confused, and then I was 
kind of pissed off at the show is because uh, how come, well, at least the first season, right? Yeah. The first season and only the beginning I'm talking about, but still at the same time. How come uh, the rest of the humans became so fucking dumb? I mean, um, who the fuck hide, hides behind the walls and not even try to like reinforce the same fucking place? I'm not talking. I'm not even talking about like uh, go outside the walls because people doing that and they getting fucked up real bad. Yeah. But at least put some fucking defenses on the walls. There is no fucking guns. There is no fucking anything. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm not even talking about the specific the gun like. Yeah. The guns. I, I understand that uh, they had a little bit degraded and uh, t- taken a different path of uh, like engineering type of stuff. Because at the same place they've been using that, that's some technology pieces right there. But in the same time, where is your projectile weaponry on the fucking walls? <laughs> um, well, where the is uh, where, where? Yeah, where is uh, the whole different additional stuff when you're actually keeping the fortress? Yeah. Well, how how many episodes did you watch first of all? First, I'm uh, gonna be honest. I watched on the first season, and that was long time ago. The first season, I think. Um. Uh, okay, I watched it a long time ago. So I'm talking about like more than like four years ago, man. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, I think if I remember correctly, I think they do have weapons on the walls, and they have they have, they have three walls because they have the middle wall, the second one, third wall. Uh huh. Jerry, can you confirm? Do they have weapons on the wall? Uh, shoot, I only remember when um, after they finish their training and they're all prepared and stuff. Yeah. It looked like they did. I think I think they did, that, but Yeah, I think they did, but I don't think uh they like the weapons uh can't take down the Titans because cause, like they shoot it all over the place but they like keep running towards them. That's what I think. If I do I gotta watch yeah. it, I don't remember exactly. I don't remember too, but I do believe that even if uh if I remember it correctly, Titans don't ex- do not exactly feel any pain at all. Uh huh. And oh, even if you su- successfully kill them, like I think there's a, a weak spot on the necks. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I'm talking about the regular ass titans. They, no, that's they, how that's how you kill you, you kill them by the neck, dude. That's how you. Yeah, kill them. that's that's what that's what I remembered. But yeah. at the same time, even if they do not feel the pain and they keep going literally till they physically can, till their limbs and I guess uh, the body condition like yeah. allows them to do that. Yeah. Even if they do so. Well, here's a fucking wall, and put something on the wall. Not just a projectile weapon arrow, but if you're holding up a fucking fortress, I guess you can realize that something like that, maybe it cannot handle the ex- like extreme heat. Maybe there could be some traps which which can sl- addition like additionally slow them down or uh, I don't know trap the the movement or something like that. None of that was there. Not a single piece of fucking brilliance in that fucking <laughs> bitch. What type of the what type of inbreds <laughs> what type of inbreds left are behind those fucking walls? Yeah, this I is know. all what you have. This is all what you have. Humans not ruling all of the earth. I understand. I understand that. Okay. Now you have three walls. Oh goody. How how fucking time you think you're gonna hold up and hold up to these walls, especially if you're not protecting them. So that was my impression about the show. But to be fair, only in the beginning. I guess there's a lot more behind that in terms of the Titans. Yeah. Did you, did After you, all. Yeah, go ahead. But the very beginning of... Okay, this is a situation. And that's how you introduced me to uh, the rest of the humanity. Okay, I think they, they deserve to die. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're fucking stupid. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> that's how it is, man. Like, as long as you don't get too technical into it, then you, I think you'll enjoy it. But uh, it's like even like talking about <laughs> talking about Game of Thrones, you know, people tore that shit apart, dude. Like the last couple of season, seasons of Game of Thrones, like, like how they said, like, you know, they got real fucking stupid. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm not going to front that. Yeah, because cause they're like, what kind of military... What kind of fucking military sends half of their men out into the middle of the darkness, you know? With no battle plan. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, so so Jerry, the orphan eating, uh, the orphan Monsters. eating. Fuck, I can hear that. 
Okay, so the orphan eating show, does that get pretty gruesome? I mean, yeah, I'm not that far into it. I'm only like four or five episodes in, so I can't say for sure. All right. How many episodes are there? Like 12, probably. Yeah, another short one. Okay, so there you go, Alex. I'm to free to check out. <laughs> what, what was the name again? The Promised Neverland or Yakusoku no Neverland. The Promised Neverland? Okay, you got it. All right, so you can check that out, Alex. And let us know what you think next week. All right, so All right. I actually have some actual news for you guys. Yeah, do you know? Well, it's, it's just a short bit of news. But, you know, in France, um, they have this uh, thing called the Order of Arts and Letters. Nope. And, okay. Okay, well, anyway, so pretty much um, when they recognize, like, an artist or, like, someone, someone when they recognize them, like, in like either the art literature or anything like that um they oh. get like knighted or they get like a medal because they're like pretty much saying like hey you wrote this amazing book or whatever you became a legend here's your fucking medal you know you're a knight now you're a badass now you're you're, you're it's kind of it's kind of like the hollywood star of fame in a sense yeah yeah pretty much Makes but sense. but uh, but this is more like a france thing and it's like an order and people get knighted so somebody that somebody that recently got recognized recognized by the France Order of Arts and Literature was Akira Toriyama, aka Dragon Ball Z's creator. <laughs> Jeez, guys. So anyway, you could have just said the Dragon Ball Z's creator Akira Toriyama instead of. <laughs> okay, well, I'm pretty, I, I think everybody knows who he is, man. He pretty much made Dragon Ball. The most popular in its time the most popular anime in the world and i feel like i mean i feel like um akira toriyama was the one that made pretty much anime mainstream not mainstream but like breakthrough for like anime worldwide yeah look how it turned out it, yeah it, it was just a tryout an accident and it blew up this big yeah but anyway, so so when he got the award or when he got knighted, it was in Japan, but at the French embassy in Japan. Uh-huh. And he didn't show up. He didn't get his award. He had somebody else show up for him. <laughs> <laughs> they probably uh, they probably asked him, "Hey, can you come out and get knighted and accept your award?" And he was like, "Chotto." <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was like, "Chotto." <laughs> and a friend's friend's gonna be like, "Ura kirimono." Yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah. yeah. Well, while well, well, Toriyama was chilling with his homies, being uh, drinking a beer, saying "kampai," <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, anyway, um, yeah, no, you wish. <laughs> no, Toriyama, Toriyama. He's a really private person, so he he like never attends anything public. Um, yeah, there's dude, that. And I've never seen like this guy is popular, but I've never seen like a a recent picture of him. Well, that's a Japanese for you. Yeah. Let's uh, start with the, uh, like let's start with the in the begin in the beginning. Uh, uh, you should remember that Japanese in, in general are fucking crazy about their privacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the not talking, not even talking about the famous people who are not artists, but uh, let's say artists, like yeah. uh, like I mean like this type of artists, right? Who yeah. are not really that they they don't like the communication. In general, that much was started. That uh, I mean, I understand that, but these guys, these guys are really popular. They should try and get out once in a while, at least. Um, but like, if you look up pictures of a uh, uh, Toriyama, Akira Toriyama, or even like um, who's Naruto's creator? Is it that uh, Masashi? Yeah. Well, anyway, when you look up like these artists, like you'll see pictures of them looking like fresh, but it's like only one picture of them and. I think the way they look at it is like Toriyama will be like, all right, take a picture of me. Make sure I look sexy. All right, here you go. You look sexy. All right, cool. Use that picture. All right, sounds good. Ten years later, hey, Toriyama-san, you need a new picture. Nah, bro, use the same picture. I still look sexy in that old picture. Mm-hmm. And then, what the uh, hell is that, Jerry? Uh, what the hell is that? <laughs> Something I can't control. That's, the, that's, our, that's our dryer, man, going off. 
Yeah, but anyway, yeah. so so this guy, Toriyama, um, I haven't seen a recent picture of him, and he just got an award by France, and he didn't even show up. But <laughs> still respect the guy. He's probably like, people are going to try to take my picture, and I don't want none of that. Yeah. So, um, all right, let's move on from anime and Japan and manga or whatever. Um, let me mention something to you guys, something I found out pretty recently. Okay. So, mm-hmm. as I was like editing the other podcast, uh, I was trying to look for a picture that represented Gaijin Smash because I'm like, how the fuck do you put that in a picture, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's a risky Google search, honestly. Yeah, well, anyway, I found one and it just showed, I don't know if you saw it yet, Jerry, but it pretty much shows like these two ladies on a bus looking kind of like worried slash annoyed, kind of upset. And then there's like a guy, a guy sitting right between them with like his music playing out loud, and he just looks like, oh, like pissed, like, like yeah, fuck yeah, bitches. <laughs> that, that seems, yeah, pretty appropriate. Yeah. So anyway, I used that picture for the the podcast. But anyway, as I was looking for that picture, I came across something. Yeah. On YouTube, there is a podcast, and. It's a podcast that has the same name as us, Gaijin Smash Podcast. Oh, yeah? So it was an already used name. <laughs> so you're telling me we're going to get sued? No, we're not going to get sued, man. But what do you guys think of that? <laughs> I told you that's a, that, that's a pretty good name. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so mm. so I kind of realized, like, I kind of realized that... um. Well, first of all, a lot of people use the same podcast name. Like, it's kind of hard to come up with like your own name. Like, a lot, there's people that use like there's like five podcasts that would have like the same name, you know? Oh shoot! Yeah, so I mean that so it's pretty normal. It's like if you happen to get the same name as someone else, it's pretty normal. It's just like trying to um, separate your branding or like type different from theirs. And also, I looked more into this other Gaijin Smash podcast. And those guys have not been active for five years. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but what, what about the content they have? Well, Is the, it similar? <laughs> no, it's not similar because, well, first of all, the last time they uploaded was in 2014. Uh-huh. And, like, I, I wasn't really interested in watching their stuff. I, uh, I'm not trying to be a jerk, but. Um, okay. Pretty much the guys, what they did is they pretty much. It's not like us, like audio only. They, like all of them sat in a room together, like in their living room. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Like you could tell it's kind of ghetto, but they all sat like in their living room together, and they each had like their own mic, and they would record themselves. So it's not like a professional podcast booth, but they did have the mics. But they were like in their living room. You know, it's kind of, kind of, and kind of. Not, not, well, I mean, it's been like five years, man. So the quality wasn't really up there. Mm-hmm. and i did listen to a little bit and they did talk about a little bit about japan but i didn't really listen to much of it and i'm like you know what i'm gonna look at their last most recent podcast they uploaded which was 2014 and pretty much what they were doing they were just like having like a little party or whatever and they were just going uh-huh. around like kind of interviewing each other like asking each other questions so i don't know it's not not definitely way 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 different than ours <laughs> yeah i see what you're saying yeah, but you guys can check it out. You'll be like, "Yeah, no, we're we're gonna we're gonna take over this name, man. We're already taking it over." All right, let's do that. Because <laughs> if if these guys upload a video like right now, then we will have some competition. But right now, man, they they're like a dead channel right now. What it seems like to me. But anyway, there's some um, piece of information for you guys. All right, I got it. Got it. So, um, so Alex. Alex, no, came, yep. Alex came to the States, like, in 2015, right? I think so, yeah. All right, 2015, 2016. He came to the States from Japan. And when you came here, Alex, what was your favorite thing? And what was your least favorite thing? Um. Well, first of all, I mean, that's, that's kind of, I don't know, that's, that's kind of a plain thing to say. But the weather, the climate. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty dry, which is uh, completely opposite from Japan. So I like that. But in the same time, it was hot. So it wasn't like a, 
like humid. extremely hot but yeah but it since it wasn't humid and and hot kind of a uh, dry hotness so that's what i'd like yeah for everybody out there we we're in the midwest so alex came to the midwest yeah all right so you like the weather well that's a really boring answer <laughs> <laughs> it is. I told you. Dude, you, 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 you your Mexican question food? was, <laughs> dude, my dude. You said the first thing you liked. The first thing. Oh. You didn't say the <laughs> the thing I, you liked the most. You said the first thing you okay, liked. Okay. When you right, came let me to change it. Well, what is this thing you like the most, man? Where you just came to America and you're like, fuck yeah, and then when you left, you're like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing I like the most. Mexican bitches. The, that's the question, right? Yeah. All right. The thing I like the most. I think you or you should know, but that's a fair question since we're talking with people right now. And Well, I mean, other people can listen. So my reply is, Quesadilla, cabrón. Quesadilla y tacos, cabrón. Yeah, when he says quesadilla and tacos, he, he really liked that Mexican food and them uh, Mexican women, right? Uh, chill with that chill with that <laughs> oh crap i mean i mean mexican food i meant mexican food you, you like the mexican food <laughs> I, I i don't mean anything else by it like that there's nothing else yeah. here he he liked the country as a whole <laughs> hijo de puta kiko hijo de puta hey, you're yeah. putting me on a spot in a whole different way <laughs> i know, I know. Yeah, dude. <laughs> all right uh, <laughs> Anyway, so I could cut that out. Is that a big deal? <laughs> no, no. If you feel uh, you, you, if you feel like it's worth of the podcast, uh, keep it in. Well, what I, what I should explain though a little bit. Well, yeah, I, I do kind of sympathize and towards the um, the people of Mexico. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's trying to say. Yeah. Alex is saying that's that. What, that's what Alex is answer. saying what Alex is trying to say is if like one day he I don't know he became rich and he bought out Russia or Japan or whatever because Alex lives in Japan but he's Russian. So if he bought out the country, I don't know how you would buy out the country, but let's say he did and he was like the the main guy, the honcho or whatever. And let's say me and Jerry bought out Mexico. I don't know how how we would buy out Mexico, <laughs> but we were the honchos. And big bosses in Mexico, they just say that Alex would be having very, very friendly relationships with the country of Mexico. Mm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you give me quesadilla, I give you. Uh, yeah. What, what does what, what does Russia have for us? Yeah. What you want? That's the right question. <laughs> Well. As a leader or as a mercenary? Because he can do both. We want everything, man. We want, we want bitches and we... I mean, food. <laughs> That's not too good. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so what's the thing you hated the most or disliked? Or what's something you um, didn't really like about America? Or I guess the Midwest well, uh, in, in general. Yeah, I guess that would be better thing because I don't really have. I I don't believe I've been living in America to actually figure out what I actually loved or hate about the states because uh, that was too short. I didn't actually like, oh, I cannot live without this type of love, uh, or like I didn't actually get something like I hate this thing about the, about the states. Well, was I there... didn't get it. But uh, the thing I actually disliked about uh, being in the midwest is uh the transportation is a uh, fucking oh, horrible there yeah. is no public transportation at all there you go so yeah and if you don't uh, know the situation like that situation many people from any other country who are like kind of got used to public transportation like uh, they're gonna be really be putting putting in the spot well what I'm trying to say is, it's going to be fucking difficult for them. Yeah. Dude, it was literally like, I decided to take a hike, to take a walk uh, to the Walmart by myself. And at the time, at the time, I didn't actually knew, uh, I didn't I didn't actually know you guys, because uh, that was my first week, uh, in, like the very first week in the States, right? So, I decided just to take a, to take a walk to the Walmart, just to figure out how long it's going to take, 
Like uh, in my case, uh, I don't really have problems with that because I kind of got used to long walks. And I'm talking not about one or two hours. I'm talking about the whole day, right? Yeah. Like just just need some pit stops to eat a little bit to chill for, like I don't know half hour or so, and I can walk the whole fucking day. So that's just me. I got used to that, but I was fucking surprised that the walk to more Walmart almost took me like a couple hours, and that's on just one trip one way. Yeah, it's like a two yeah. mile. Walmart is two miles from the campus, man. It's pretty far. Yeah, walking. and for those who doesn't who doesn't understand the imperial system, that's a, that's something about three kilometers. All right. Well, okay, maybe it's like two or three miles. Like by car, by car, it takes me fifteen minutes to get from campus to Walmart. It's fifteen minute drive. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, Wait, that's a big difference. <laughs> that's a big difference on, by walking. <laughs> okay. Two or three miles. <laughs> okay, because by walking it takes you like two hours, huh? Around two hours. It's pretty It's pretty far, man. It's pretty far is what I'm saying. And for those who, out there who says, oh, that's not that far. Well, let me tell you guys, when I'm driving down the street going to Walmart, I have seen international students coming back from Walmart like halfway through like that big ass road with like fucking groceries in their hands, man. All right, walking there, okay, no problem. But when you buy your groceries and you have like five bags of groceries, walking back all the way to campus, two, three miles, whatever, two-hour walk, man, that's fucking brutal. Yeah, even if you have only one bag, well, that depends what's in your bag. What's in your bag? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? <laughs> <laughs> God yeah, damn. But, no, but it's crazy, man. Like, yeah. That's why, I mean, our campus tries to give transportation, you know, have like a little bus. Take international mm-hmm. students once in a while, but heard about it. Or you could have like a friend who has a car and take you there. But in yeah. the end, man, transport transportation does suck. It really does. Yeah, yeah. But I guess if you can, can like trying to communicate with people in at one point or another, you will have some right, mm. like to do the the whole shopping at least once per week, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's fine. Yeah. If you have yeah, because yeah, uh, if you if you do understand the uh, the place you're living at, like, and everyone does understand the situation with transportation around the place, they like, I believe most people would be like underst- understanding. Yeah, even no, if, definitely. Even even if we are not uh, really friends, but just uh, like, yeah, always yeah. communicating positively, yeah, you will have a right, I believe. Yeah, so that's uh, essential stuff. Yeah, so international students should at least try to make one friend who has a car. Yeah, but that's like uh, that was a sort of a long answer slash yeah. <laughs> slash talk. But yeah, that's the thing I dislike the most about being in the Midwest, because the, the I guess how to how to how can you put that? Just transportation. Sm- yes, yeah, small, right. small town transportation. So essentially, the 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 one thing that Alex really liked about America was Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> that's a perfect answer for a paper what did you like the most in the states Mexico tacos in Mexico puto <laughs> okay no, that's, that's good we could, we, could, we could end it there man we gotta wrap this up now um, yeah, yeah, and Jerry yeah. since you haven't yeah. really said much during this podcast you could wrap this up for us I mean wrap it up <laughs> they just just, just just wrap it up, man. Just say peace out. <laughs> so much to go on, you know. Um, all right, it's time to wrap this up. <laughs> yes, you're doing good. Keep going. I am. Um, yeah. Peace, guys. <laughs> See you on the <laughs> next one. Damn, you're not, you're not even gonna thank our audience for listening to us. Do they spend they spend blood, sweat, See? and tears and their time listening to us? And you're just gonna say bye. <laughs> So, so see, this is what I mean by some guidance, you know. It's, you just say, hey, Jerry, wrap it up. When you could have said, hey, Jerry, thank the audience, you know. Say peace out. You know, wrap this thing up. Yeah, yes. but, but like, if you're, let's say you're giving, like, a big presentation in front of, like, the whole, uh, like, a big stadium, you know. Um, celebrities are there, you know. Um, the president is there. Important people are there. Um, and they're watching you. And you're like, so that was my speech. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. what I would say. <laughs> but right. no. Okay, yeah. No. We hope you guys learned something today. Um, thanks for listening to our bullshit banter. 
And yeah, that concludes what what how what episode is this? <laughs> You're talking. <laughs> <You're> talking... <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, are we on four or five? What? Dude, we're on the third one, man. How did you forget already? <laughs> Dude, it's hard to stay. All right, we're on number three. That's it for number three. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, catch you, catch you on the next one. We'll see you guys later. All right, peace out. All right, peace, 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 peace.